Hey, Lilu, watching Joyride has got me thinking. Just brace yourself, but I am not your biological parent. I know, I know, this is pretty rough to hear this. Just picture the road trip adventure of finding the source of your furriness. It's like an identity quest, but with more tail wagging and less existential crisis. Six hours later. Huh, turns out your mom was a real bitch. <laughs> It's that time again. Buckle up, let's talk Joyride. Comedies aren't as popular as they once were. I miss the good old days of Jim Carrey ruling the box office and having a jam-packed theater explode into laughter together. There's just something special about that social experience. And in these hard times, I think we could all just use a good laugh. I have been getting my wish these last few months with no hard feelings, the blackening, and now here comes Joyride. Joyride is gonna get its fair share of comparisons to other raunchy women-led ensemble comedies like Bridesmaids or Girls Trip, as this film doesn't really stray too much from that recipe hitting all the familiar genre beats. Having said that, an Asian comedic story with badass women at the helm is rare in American cinema, which not only gives us a much needed different perspective, but also helps distinguish itself from the pack. The key to any great comedy film is of course, does it make you laugh? Lilu, like our hilarious movie reviews, right Lilu? Why aren't you laughing Lilu? Joyride is one of the most consistently funny mainstream comedies I have seen in recent memory. The jokes are a hurricane of vulgar sexual innuendos with a lot of humor about Asian culture. Those that don't want raunch in their comedy should look elsewhere. Lilu is all about raunchy comedy, aren't you, you little devil? Joyride works because of the fantastic ensemble cast, which truly are the glue that holds this whole ride together. Ashley Park, Stephanie Hsu, Sherry Cola, and Sabrina Wu have such a convincing chemistry together, they feel like an actual group of friends. This grounds the humor and the story, and I would recommend bringing your friends to this film for added fun. Each actor knows how to steal a scene, but are generous enough to set up their co-stars to land hilarious jokes as well. The framework of the characters are nothing new as they are standard comedic archetypes, but the stellar performances make this better than your average fare. Don't expect any fancy camera work or groundbreaking editing in this film. Nope, the focus here is on the actors spewing out their comedic brilliance with basic medium shots and close-ups, which is quite common in comedies. The movie runs for a tight one hour and 32 minutes, which is a smart move, as overstaying its welcome was the downfall for its competition in theaters. No hard feelings. The film also sneaks up on you, as it packs a heartfelt emotional punch beneath its crude exterior as the central character played by Ashley Park embarks on an emotional journey from being adopted by a white family at an early age. And she's caught between two worlds. She stands out in the white world because she looks different and Asians think she acts too white to be a part of theirs. As one character tells her, if you don't know where you've come from, how do you know who you are? I felt this underlying storyline was effective and gave the film some much needed depth and balance for the over the top comedy madness. I know Lilu can really resonate with this storyline. Being a black and white party poodle, she is also caught between two worlds, not being accepted by all black or white poodles. Oh, Lilu, I still love you. I still love the poodle. Yes, I do, I love her. It is a shame we don't get as many big budget studio comedies these days, but Joyride is one ride that you should take. Which is why I'm giving this film the much coveted green light. So coveted, Lilu, our system is wanted by everybody in the industry. Everybody wants the green light, and only so few can have it. Just be prepared for some raunchiness, and you should walk away having a fun time with lots of laughs, or maybe even a tear or two. Lilu, 
doing movie reviews with me is always a joy ride, right, Lilu? Right? Holy sh! But what if your biological parents turn out to be mischievous mutts, all slobbery and unhouse trained? Or perhaps they're posh purebreds who dine from fancy silver bowls. Will you embrace your roots or find yourself pondering your very doggy existence? It's a canine conundrum.